Mr. President, I wish to begin by expressing my delegation's appreciation for the convening of this solemn commemorative meeting in observance of the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the Transatlantic Slave Trade. It is fitting that we remember the dark era in the history of mankind, during which millions of Africans, women, men, and children were taken as slaves from the continent and transported from their homelands to destinations in Europe and the Americas in inhuman conditions and treated as commodities. It is also right that we honor the victims of slavery and those who opposed and triumphed over this crime. Their strength of will and resilience continue to inspire us today. Mr. President, mere remembrance without positive action does not make for progress or renewal. And thus, the commemoration of the end of slavery should serve as a time for deep reflection as well as collective resolve and action to address the false ideologies and racial prejudices that gave rise to this heinous crime, which continues to manifest in racism, racial discrimination and intolerance, modern forms of slavery and exploitation in our world today. We therefore commend the efforts of the United Nations system to educate current and future generations on the contemporary consequences of this tragedy of human history. Many visitors to Ghana's Cape Coast and Elmina castles, which bear haunting memories of the heinous crime of slavery, have the opportunity to see the door of no return from where slaves were put onto ships bound for the Americas. Today, we are gratified that a visitor to the United Nations will also have the opportunity to see the permanent memorial named the Ark of Return that seeks to remind us of this tragedy and to call us to action. This memorial has special meaning for all peoples of African descent and the African diaspora, especially as we build bridges to turn this historical aberration into positive bonds of cooperation and cultural and socioeconomic development for our peoples. In conclusion, Mr. President, I wish to express our appreciation once again for this event and trust that the, that the international community can give true meaning and substance to this act of remembrance by working together with resolve and commitment in the fight against racism and prejudice, guided by our firm belief in the dignity and equality of all human beings and in accordance with the universal ideals enshrined in the charter of our, of our organization. I thank you.